Meantime, the Prime Minister of St. Lucia is calling for increased collaboration between Africa and the Caribbean in tackling issues plaguing the two territories, such as COVID-19. The statement came as Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre addressed the first Africa CARICOM Summit held virtually under the theme Unity Across Continents and Oceans, Opportunities for Deepening Integration. My administration also welcomes this ready platform for communication, cooperation, coordination between Africa and the Caribbean to share COVID-19 experiences and develop mechanisms to help reduce our common dependence on an unequal vaccine distribution. This is a stark living reminder of the inequalities of the system. Having to import 10 times more pharmaceuticals than we produce in the Caribbean, and our regional vaccination levels at only between 15 and 23 percent. We also support the recent initiative announced by, by PAO to create a platform to increase regional vaccine manufacturing production. The Prime Minister stated that unity is critical in building climate resilience between Africa and the Caribbean region as both territories are vulnerable to the devastation of climate change. This means that inevitably we are all invested in securing sustained global action to arrest and reverse this scourge. In this regard, close cooperation between small and developing states, African countries and other developing states, was instrumental in securing the 2015 Paris Agreement and the 1.5 target for global temperature increase. In light of the climate emergency, the pursuit of a green recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic and the critical decisions to be made at the 26th Conference of Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, COP26, it is essential that the flame of col collaboration kindled in Paris be fanned vigorously in Glasgow in November of this year. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre added that the regions must maximize possibilities for collaboration outside of international arrangements. He explained that the regions can explore areas of technology, capacity building, research exchanges, and education, to name a few.